Hey everybody, this is Tanil Mackinac. So I'm just doing a little segment on making fried bannock. So this batch probably makes about 18 to 20 bannock. Um, and then I'm gonna add the recipe as well to our comments. So we're just starting right now with a bowl of four cups of flour. That's five cups? Yep, five cups. Five cups. Half a teaspoon of salt and baking powder. One. Is that tablespoons? Yes, three tablespoons. We're going to do three tablespoons and then you just have to mix it all together. So the difference with fried and baked bannock is if you're making baked, it's still the same, but you would just add the grease, um, the oil. You'd add the oil in the mixture when you put all the wet and dry ingredients together. So once you mix that, then you have to, we just do a well at the bottom. And then we add one egg. And about half a cup of milk and two cups of warm or hot water. And as you're mixing, I'm not sure if you can see, there's some air bubbles there. That's kind of what you want to see. But you don't want clumps. And as you stir, you just want to take the sides. Of the flour. And as the dough starts to thicken, um, we're eventually going to need to use our hands. And it's trial and error, so there's times you might have to add some more water in there or add some more flour. We don't want the dough to be too wet and we want to create a ball. And you don't want to over knead it as well. And when we pick it up, uh, you don't want it to fall through your fingers. And it's still holding its shape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you're, you should be able to hold it. And it should still be pretty soft, really soft. And then you can, um, if you wanna, um, if you have time, 
um, you can make this a day before and even let it sit on a counter or you can um, make it right away if you want but what you want is not to have um, um, what is it called uh, clumps of clumps of um, flour. flour in there so it's ready to be fried so then we go and fry it up what I've done is uh, I've cooked a couple yeah. already, cooked a couple bannocks, and just to make sure that the heat is uh, consistent, it's got to be quite high for the bannocks to cook. Um, well, um, you don't want it too low because it's not gonna it's gonna take forever to cook, and it the dough will not be won't cook right. So I'm gonna put this down, and you should get that sizzling right away. And I'm gonna put another one in. And I've made sure that I make sure that there's an opening in the center, and that um it's cooking in in between. And um, you should start to see the air bubbles come up and it'll take about a minute to turn the dough, the bannock. And it depends how dark you want the bannock or how light. I noticed that if the lighter the bannock dough is, the softer it is. So I try not to allow it to be too, too dark. And there should be some height in your dough. And um, it only takes a couple minutes to cook one bannock. And uh, four cups of um, flour, the dough, um, it will make about 15 bannock pieces.